Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? My name is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna do a quicker run through of this than I normally do. Uh, but this is an awesome rear living travel trailer. This is the 2023 Vibe 28RL. I hope you guys like it. Specifications along with my contact information down in the description. You'll also find a link to the manufacturer website so you can get some information on some of the packages and options uh, that they do offer. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit that like and subscribe button if you do. But again, it's the 2023 Vibe 28RL. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I got a hot date tonight and the missus will kill me. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. I'm not gonna be too late for you. But right when you walk in, the thing that I notice, Vibe has a really crisp, clean look to it. So it's got the light interior, but it's not too light. You have the black accent for the refrigerator, the darker furniture. A dual opposing slides which gives you a lot of walking space which is nice and then that island kitchen uh, which usually in travel trailers i'm not the biggest fan of but for this because it has the opposing slides you still get that walk around space you know that you need so on this slide we'll focus here first you have kind of your seating slide i would call it slide height typical of a travel trailer you know you're probably looking at about five foot six or so i'm six feet tall for reference and it goes right about to just the top of my ears but you do get large tinted windows. You're also gonna get your nightshades. So you know if you're not a big fan of the sun, you, know, you can get your Dracula on and block it out. Absolutely no problem. Little clicker light right here, right above uh, your booth dinette, or your, yeah, your dinette. So you can drop that down to make a bed to sleep two extra. There's also gonna be good storage that goes from there all the way up against the wall. So you can fit a whole bunch of stuffola right down in there. Uh, I did forget to point out too, on either side of the slide here, and here, you do get the windows as well, and they open up so you can get a really nice cross breeze. Another clicker light right there. And then right here, you have your Thomas Paine theater uh, seating. So these are gonna be recliners, and they're gonna quick recline, meaning that you can pull them in seating mode and put them almost flat, so that way you can sit down, take a good nap if you're more of a chair sleeper. You also have two individual controls there for the accent lighting, so the cup holder glows up, and you see the accent there underneath. To turn it off, all you gotta do is just double tap, you know, and you're out. Two cup holders, a place for a couple controllers. As we bring it around the back, this is rear living. So with that dual opposing slide, you get all this space for that rainy day, for that day you're stuck in the camper. Uh, maybe if you don't wanna be, but you still have a ton of space to kind of move around and not feel overly cramped. On the back side, again, you get really nice size windows, hopefully where you can catch a good view. You'll see there's those two little tabletops on both sides so you can put some of your stuff, you know, whether it's books, computers, cell phones, you know, whatever it might be. But window, window, and window. The two on the sides are both gonna be emergency exits. So all you gotta do is pull, push, and pop, and you can get out of here in a hurry. All three do feature the nightshade as well. Above, you have some good overhead storage. And then this couch right here will pull out um, so it's a, it's a sleeper sofa, so it'll come out to probably right about there, give you some extra sleeping space. Even though this is traditionally a couple's coach, between the booth where you can sleep, you know, one to two, depending on their side size, and then that sofa, you can definitely sleep too. Makes for some really nice optional sleeping, you know, when you do need it. Directly across from the recliner, uh, you get your TV. So I'm liking the position, I'm liking the floor plan of that. It's really nice and convenient when you're sitting down to have the TV right across from you. But if you're the kind of person that likes to lay down on the couch and watch, rest your head right there, this TV is on a swivel so you can make it comfortable for everybody. You also have your 30 inch Furion fireplace which pumps out 5100 BTUs of electric heat. It's essentially just a fancy space heater. It's also got a couple different color modes. You know, you have your orange, your white, your blue, uh, I believe a red, you know, so that is pretty nice. Give you a good little view coming around here from this angle. Right here, this is going to be one of the things that will actually open up. You get a nice size pantry right there, you know, to fit, you know, whether it's food or storage, you know, when you're not using it. This is going to be kind of your cooking and entertainment slide. So right over here is going to be your cooking center. You got your microwave. You have a three stove, ooh, excuse me, a three stove top burner uh, with the vent up above with a fan. So when you're cooking, you can kind of suck up, suck up and get out, you know, some of the, um, you know, some of the stink from whatever you're cooking. Good storage right here as well. That brings us over to the island kitchen where you see you got an outlet. 
and this is going to be your single undermounted stainless steel bowl. You also have this little doodad there, you know, as a little drying rack and your high rise faucets. That way you can, you know, hit those dishes from all angles, getting them all done. Little skylight up above with these fancy looking little lights. Oh, I forgot to show you this too. Uh, up here on the roof, you got two ACs on this unit. This is going to be a 15K AC, so more than enough to chill you out of this camper on a hot day. They also have the dump valve, so you can open that up. You know, if you're sitting back here with the whole fam, watching a movie, open that up, and it'll disproportionately blow the AC directly into this, as opposed to sending it directly down uh, the, the track system. You know, so that's pretty nice to have. As we keep swinging it around... You got plenty of good storage right here. You also have a fuse box. So if something's not working, check that. It'll glow up for you and, uh, you know, show you what's working so that way you can replace the fuse. You got a little bit of, you know, storage right there as well. It's also looking fancy with that kind of little rectangular insert. I think that looks nice. I'm not too much of a fancy guy, but I think that's, that looks fancy to me. Two outlets. And then you have a USB and universal C charger right there, along with a little bit of countertop space. Get yourself a thermostat. You know what to do with that. Poet, and I didn't even know it. And then right in front of the door, man, that is just a slick looking shot right there. I think that looks so nice. And then right here, right as you walk inside the door, this is going to be your control panel. So you have your, you know, a couple light switches, your slides in and out, your awning, retract and extend. All that's going to be right here and right here, all your controls, and then your water pump, water heater, tank heaters. So that's nice when you're doing a little bit of a deeper into the season, you know, camping. And then right here, you can check all your tank levels. So your fresh water, you know, battery, black, gray one, gray two, auxiliary, you know, all that conveniently all in one spot. Bathroom in here, pretty good sized bathroom. You got your fantastic fan right there on the ceiling. Again, help keep that air nice and circulating. Pretty good sized shower, you know, as well with a little place to put your soaps or shampoos. It's also got this, which is pretty nice. It's not the glass, uh, but it makes it really nice, convenient, and easy, and it tucks it away, you know, making it look sharp. On the Vibe, you do get the, the old porcelain throne. Baby, I love you. you. Got your little octopus friend there waiting for you to hang something up on him. And then you have your sink, a little bit of countertop space, an outlet some storage and then underneath you're going to have some storage and some access to your plumbing as well show off the bowling guns baby it's a pretty valuable arm right there and again if you guys have made it this far if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button brings us into the bedroom so you're going to see you've got window over there doubles up as an emergency exit window over here that just helps out with a good view and a nice breeze but you got yourself your bed overhead storage on the left you got some room for some hanging items a little bit of countertop space right there with a little cubby and then both sides are going to have uh, let me see if i can flip my camera over both sides are going to have mini usb and universal c and then outlet and then you'll see over there uh, you got the same configuration as well underneath the bed Nice dividing storage, so that's pretty unique. Usually it's just kind of an open void right there for you to put your stuff, but I like how they kind of partitioned it off. You know, just making storage a little bit easier, a little bit of a fancier touch. The second AC here is dedicated solely to this bedroom, uh, so that's nice. You got your controls, you know, right there. Keeps this really nice and chilly here out back. Outlet, cable satellite, and it's prepped for your King Wi-Fi, so that way you can get you know, 4G or 5G LTE if you choose to. It's also backed uh, for a TV. So if you want to sit down and watch a movie while you're in bed, I know you're more than welcome to. And then right here, you got a really nice closet for some hanging items. They also throw in, you know, kind of more organizational type stuff. And then behind that, it's going to be a panel for some of your maintenance. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is the 2023 Vibe 28RL. Now I'm going to spend probably about two, three minutes there on the outside. I'll show you kind of where things are and, uh, you know, point out a couple things along the way. But I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it so far. So you got the solid surface or the solid entry steps, which are always nice. Those fold up into the door. 
This is a dual axle unit. And what's nice about the Vibe is you'll notice that those tires are spread out, you know, just a little bit further than your average travel trailer. When you're driving down the road, it gives you just a little bit more balance. You know, if you can imagine a pothole, it's dump dump as opposed to like both of them going down. So it makes it a little bit of a smoother ride. You also have the dual awnings, which is nice. This top one's got the LED lights that are underneath glowing up all pretty. Two marine grade speakers, so that way you can get some music bumping here on the outside. And then of course you have the automatic leveling there, you know, on the vibes. And this is gonna be your controls for the front. So extend and retract. You also have a nice pass-through storage in here that's got pretty good size. It also shows off some of that construction quality, you know, with that aluminum framing. And you'll notice too, it is welded, um, you know, at all points, you know, which is a plus as well. Just goes out to the construction quality here of the Vibe. Place where you can plug in a TV. So here's going to be your cable outlet and your two, you know, power outlets. <coughs> Excuse me. There's going to be the other control here for your rear jacks. Extend and retract again. Bring it around the back. This is a fully walkable roof. There's no ladder on this being offered anymore, much like you know, a lot of the industry, but they are putting on the prepping there for the Lippert on the go ladder, which you'll see right here. And basically uh, that's $285 if you want to buy it directly off their website. But you put it on there, you hook up, you get on top, check all your seals, you know, check your slides, make sure everything is good. Bumper with a spare tire. You also have your hookups there for your cable inlet and your satellite inlet. You'll also notice that on the Vibe, they do come prepped for a rear observation camera. If you choose to purchase that, it's $550. You come with a four and a half inch screen that you suction cup right onto your windshield. That way, when you're driving down the road, you can see what's going on behind you. It looks like this customer also opted to purchase the slide topper, which I'm a big fan of the slide toppers. If you guys have seen my videos, but the slide topper is this piece of awning that goes over top of the slide dedicated to that. If you don't have it, basically you're parked under a tree, a little tree branch gets on top of there and you close that slide and, you know, it punctures the seal and, you know, that's when you have a bad day. So this is what the seal looks like. So basically, you know, imagine if you get like a tree branch in there creating that little open area, it allows water to get in. So I'm happy to see the slide topper was added on. Other satellite hookup. And then I'll show you the underside of this. That's gonna be antifreeze right there. We just got done winterizing this thing. Probably picking up Monday or Tuesday, I would imagine. All buttoned up here in the underbelly. And again, it's got the tank heaters. Uh, so that way you can get a, get it going around a little bit in better, worse weather, I suppose. But that's gonna be your sewer outlet connection, wastewater holding connection, uh, all in one spot. You got your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Outside shower with hot and cold water access your city water connection, and then where you plug in your 50 amp uh, receptacle. Back end of the hot water heater. And then your fresh water connection is right there. And then this is the view from the other side of that pass through storage. When you purchase here, you're gonna come free. You're gonna get your power cord, obviously, your battery and your propane. We also offer a starter kit for $109. Comes with things like your fresh water hose, sewer hose, level locks, wheel chocks, water pressure regulator, AC adapter, and some treatment chemicals for your system. That was your battery disconnect. This is your power tongue jack. So, you know, retract, extend, light on, light off. There's also a little flap right there. So for some reason it doesn't really work. You can hook up your bit and you know, you can do it automatically. LED lights running up the front. Not only do they look cool, but they're also functional for when you're backing up and hooking up to your trailer. But guys, I know this was a quick one today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. My name is Hunter. This is the 2023 Vibe 28RL. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.